two, three. Well done, Joe. Keep it. Four. The other players obviously saw him and he, the way he looked after himself as well. He was in great physical condition. He didn't drink. He was totally dedicated. His body was in unbelievable shape. I was delighted when I heard that he was coming to West Ham. It was, um, you know, of course he came with the, all that shroud of like the fact that he's a bit of a maverick and, you know, I mean, we saw all the stuff with the referee and, and you know, like Harry's the kind of manager who's brave enough to take someone like uh, Paolo, who's gone down in West Ham's history as one of the greatest players. I'm forever blowing my ball, big trouble. See you later, bye bye. Straight away, I realized that, uh, oh my God, I was uh, not two times lucky, but a million times lucky because uh, I moved at West Ham in Premier League, at West Ham in London. I can play, play in Upton Park every weekend. I hope that I can finish my career here. I couldn't finish the career there, but four years and a half, the best moment in my life. The reception he got when he came on, he said after the game, he said he, he's so much looking forward to playing here now and uh, it'd be a big start West Ham, I've got no doubts about that. Magnificently finished by Di Canio. We just admired him really because he was so far ahead technically than, than anything I'd seen in my life. So, you know, he was a, he was a joy to play with. There is passion, desire, fighting spirit. Every weekend, there is always a chance to, to do something special. You come in here, we make your life very difficult. Di Canio! Oh, what a goal! What a goal from Paolo Di Canio! That was class! Just before I was leaving, he was turned into the talisman. Um, and he was somebody that could easily, with his ability, in the, passion. It could have easily become a major captain for, for, for West Ham and you could build a team around him, of course. He might be a bit of a hothead, but he's a hot talent as well. He was in his ground, West Ham, out in Park, and he was the star and he knew it. And as soon as you get the ball, you're looking for him, you know, because you know he can make something out of nothing. It's important, of course, that West Ham go back to their winning ways. You need to do that this afternoon, almost as desperately as Bradford need to win. We arrived at the stadium full of confidence to win that game because it was crucial. And then I started to play my football. They didn't want to take off the second player going in the box, challenge me, didn't touch the ball. Uh, no penalty. Oh my god, this is penalty, okay. They pass in power, come on. And then 2 1, 3 1. And then a second time, they didn't take off the first play, second play, this is the third one. And then challenge, no penalty. Oh my god. And I start to say, no, it's not possible. Nobody in the world would call that a penalty. They were penalties, but you know, referees, it was GBH before a penalty was given in them days. But I didn't give up. The third time was absolutely a penalty. On to the right foot, on to the right foot, pulled over. That has to be a penalty. He didn't give it to me. I start to say, no, no, change me. Change me, I don't want to play anymore. And they were all blatant penalties, and he, he walked over to me. Yeah, I sat, you know, I don't sat on the floor, crossed his legs, and put his hands on his chin, and said, "I don't play no more." I couldn't repeat what I said to him. Uh, I said, "Come on, Paolo, get up, please." You know, we have, we're losing the game, but not quite in them terms, you know. Di Canio is losing it. After one minute, I start listen. I felt like a new energy in my body, positive in my brain. I got up again and then I start playing. And then we came back in this game in a style because we scored two, three goals in a fantastic way. This ball could come through to Kitson. It does! Kitson! It must be pulled down! It must be a penalty! It is a penalty! It showed you the bottle that Frank had, really, that want to take it, you know, and Paolo wanted it. If Frank had took it and missed it, and Paolo was the favourite, Son of West Ham fans. <laughs> I've never seen this before. They are arguing over who will take the penalty. Well, Frank saw sense in the end and let Barlow have it, you know. 
I took the responsibility. Now I take the ball. You know, that is why I took the ball we had at this moment. But by the end, I told him, come on, Frankie, you're going to score anyway. Let's just hope he doesn't miss it. At the end, he scored the winning goal. It was fantastic because, again, I passed the ball. He controlled the ball with his right foot, and with his left foot, uh, he delivered the ball in the top corner in an amazing style. And then whew, everything was more relaxed because we won, he scored the winning goal, and then we sort out the situation this way. Finally, I'm happy that it's been in. Now, still arguing, I can tell that he's taken, and uh, lovely enough for everyone in. I was going to say, was he talking in Italian or English? Uh, it wasn't really the chat that, that made me think. It was a look in his eyes. I thought, no, I'm not going to get this, so I'll let him have it. Fans want to be entertained and see people do things that they can't see over the park on Sunday morning, and that's what he could do. He was great. I could have been a football team in my life, and then I thought, now. I'm going to do this bicycle bowling. Obviously, all, all these things I was thinking, uh, one second, two seconds, you think. All these things, yes, because uh, you have this, the perception of the situation, and the good footballer, in one second, think 2,000 situations, and uh, uh, try to elaborate the best one, and then uh, make the best one. Great technique, great crossing, Trevor Sinclair, and Paolo done it. That's him, that's his technique. He's got unbelievable technique. He's, that's not luck, you know, that is absolute skill with the way he adjusted his body in mid air to follow that ball. People say that, that was lucky, that wasn't lucky. He's done that regularly in training. There's probably only a handful of players in the world that could have scored a goal like that. West Ham fans will put him down as one of the all time favourite players, you know. West Ham United hoping to move up. Well, the other men Merseyside team, Liverpool, into sixth position if they could be victorious this afternoon. It's Canute, oh, Gerard comes a long way and he had to be certain. And he's pulled the muscle in going for the ball. Oh dear, Gerard is down, Everton don't have a goalkeeper. And Di Canio, sportingly, almost unbelievably catches the ball there. What nerve does that take? The goalkeeper didn't have any reason to collapse on the ground and screaming in pain because he was with the ball uh, in his uh, feet and uh, Trevor uh, tried to uh, sustain the ball and uh, deliver it. For me, the game already was end in that moment. Stop. I walked in the dressing room, Stuart Pierce was the first one run back in. He said, don't let me get near him, I'll kill him, I'll strangle him. And then I go on TV and say, oh yeah, it was a, uh, a fantastic bit of sportsmanship. We, we really are proud of Paolo for what he did, you know, but really we was all sick because we wanted to win the game, you know. It was the most fantastic bit of sportsmanship I think I've ever seen. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry though when he did it, but uh, it was, you know, if the lad had a bad injury, he did the right thing. The player was taking a fair amount of criticism in his time in England. That was a very sporting gesture indeed, uh, you know, one I think that would be appreciated by everyone. season for West Ham, 19 minutes away from possible salvation. And West Ham are alive and kicking! The argument of two good to go down was often used in the uh, sort of run up to the end of the season that we were, we were losing games we shouldn't have lost and generally performing in the park. West Ham have conceded with just 10 minutes of the season to go! We needed power to try and help us avoid relegation. Takenio is coming on and don't back against him. Having one final say in the season. Unfortunately, this story finished in not in a fantastic way. This is Savage. Oh, it's a good ball in still, John! West Ham heading for the first division. Here's the foe putting it across. I'm very sad for the supporters because the people 
you know, who follow this club with uh, a lot of passion and with a lot of sacrifice. So I'm very sad only for them. In this moment, I don't think about me. My dream was always to win and go Wembley uh, for FA Cup, uh, maybe League Cup. Uh, but it's obvious that uh, what makes me happy that uh, the, the, the most important thing that happened that I had a chance to wear that shirt. That is the most uh, and best trophy that I can have.